It's with Steve Gain. I would like to present to you Tungus generated at work without any power supply at all and no grunt. It looks like Charila Kapanazo will have a big problem right now to collect any money at all. And uh, the schematic is development is dear. There is another gentleman that gave me the permission to translate that video and post it to my site. And I'm gonna go to it shortly. The first guy who played with the yoke was Tiger from Kazakhstan. The second was Aidas Arunas and me in the Lithuania experiment. We've been giving about 10 milliwatts of power after the impedance mismatch and extracting up to one kilowatt of power from the yoke. It was very hard to tune it and was kind of hectic. And now it looks like we have a breakthrough. Thank you to Tungus very much. And we're probably facing another historical moment. It's hard to assign right now the workability of the device, but he states that he based his device on 100 shot generator. And I would like to give my thanks to Ganza also, uh, who was working with Tiger first. But first of all, I'm so much in appreciation to Russian science and Russian education. I'm gonna say a few words in English, in Russian right now. Большое спасибо, дорогие ребята. Я всегда стоял с точки зрения, что русской науки не победить. И я рад, что Тунгус решил показать свое устройство людям. Из-за этого я могу сказать, Тарьел Капенадзе будет огромные проблемы а, снять какие-нибудь бабки с кого-то нибудь. Огромное уважение, Тунгус. И все русские ребята, которые причинились к этому, чтобы знание по этому пришло к людям. Уэсли. I was at first using the this ferrite yoke from the old TV, but I found it's not strong enough. And then I used the Russian one, six millimeter square. There is no need for that thick wire. The red winding is. 20 21 winds of six square millimeters and three winds of wide winding for the resonance circuit. If we would be able to make it resonating with that number of winds. Hello, everybody. I was doing it very fast just to be able to show it to you. And I have a ground wire here connected. You see that I have a very simple 400 watts inverter. And uh, I will go to the street to be able to, be able to show it to you outside as well. I will not tell you too much about how did I make it, but I'm going to prove you that it works. This is connection to the ground wire, and then connection to the light bulbs, and uh, the output coil. This is the wire that is connected directly to the sockets of the light bulbs, and inside I have a drossel. The one who is familiar with Hendershot generator would know what I'm talking about. 
Так, ну немножко расскажу. Вот он рабочий индуктор. This is resonating вот circuit. And then you have a two times one on the top of the other, the receiving coil. And this coil is connected to the rectifier. And then you have a P filter, non-polarized capacitor, and it goes to the inverter. And from inverter it goes to the rectifier and it goes to the switching board. And then we have about 100 Hz in here after modulation. And we will have to connect the accumulator in here, which is the battery. And then we will show you that it is working. I'm gonna connect the battery, I'm gonna go to outside and show you that it works. And now I am on the street. I will not connect round wire, nothing. So nobody has questions. So no ground wire is needed. It would be a little bit more less power, but what is important is to show that it works. I don't connect anything. Nothing. I specially took 500 watts light bulb and after I start the device I will then connect it. How much it's gonna work is gonna work but I don't know so far. And this is going from that winding. This is the high frequency and that works only because of that high frequency. And this is about 50 amps uh, of maximum that I could achieve from the. And this is battery and is connected. Normally I never disconnect that battery because in parallel to that there is all of the electronics that is connected and it works as a stabilizer but it works without it extremely good and now it is connected and now you see everything around there is nothing special here. Don't go to any fantasy. Simply follow the resonance. I will tell you a little bit more. We, I'm going to give you a secret. Do you uh, understand that there is or there is not magnetic field. I assume that he's talking about magnetic field of the earth. And now, see? And then you see the sound from the yoke. No. And then it's working. And it's working good. I don't have a fan, but... Uh, and now I'm disconnecting battery. And that's it. It works. And this is only one block of the total of uh, that device construction. What is important is just rectify it and then process it. And then eventually you can try the iron-based transformer and you could do much better with it. And now
we have a 500 watts. So actually we see two light bulbs, 250 watts and one 500 watts. And of course it gives enough power to for the electronics to work properly. But we have uh, such a noise from the yoke. And because we don't have a ground wire, it's, it doesn't give you full power. And now it's a little bit too much for it, so I have to unscrew it. And the rectifier is extremely hot. That's all. Two light bulbs, 250 watts each one. And it was very, very speedy way um, made. So now I have to disconnect that because uh, everything is getting too hot. I'm gonna make one more video at my house and I will show you how everything works. And we have approximately 180 volts out. And that's all. Look at it one more time. There is nothing connected to it from outside. Now you have a chance to copy that schematic and eventually try to replicate it. Uh, for some reason, from the original video that I got the permission to copy, at the end there is a schematic for a long time but doesn't play any longer. And it was playing when I start the translation. Uh, but tutorial Kapenadze, I'm sorry guy. You would probably not be able to uh, take the money from anybody any longer. Unless you come out straight to us. Дорогой Тарель Капинадзе, ну, будет вам те, чего сейчас содрать из людей денег. Извиняюсь за это. Конечно, вы вы первый. Я отдаю вам полное уважение за это. Talking about energy origination, it might be the energy that is extracted from the yoke by itself, the same as the two experiment. Uh, was done and uh, SR, the famous SR from 2010, the young boy who made it. We have a chain of reaction here and I hope we're gonna succeed pretty much soon. Or if not, we're already succeeding. The final conclusion of mine is every device has to have a, a basic uh, mechanism that is maneuvering it. As I was claiming at Coleman and Tendershot um, that were two factors. The nuclear reaction of unstable nuclei and uh, nuclear magnetic resonance, both of them at the same time. Because there might be something that makes that work. The Australian scientists have made a set of videos showing nuclear magnetic resonance and the principles. This one doesn't use any cryogenic. It uses magnetic field of the Earth. Thank you very much from Wesley, United States of America. Большое спасибо, дорогие друзья. Вам всем.